so welcome to my channel if you're new here but if you are returning welcome back to my channel i decided to start doing vlogs because you know if you like me and you nosy and you want to be other people's business this is a this book. i don't got the tea or nothing but it's just a regular day um i'm standing under the tree because it's hella sunny but it feels super duper good outside like and i said it's my day off why waste today get into the natural face no lashes just lip gloss and a whole lot of confidence get into the nails the girls are giving what needs to be gave period and they're done by me period so let's get into the vlog today i'm gonna be doing a little bit of shopping it's flies it's not even flies i don't know what kind of little flying creatures these are but i'm gonna get them under this tree all right give me a second so I just thought I'd show y'all a glimpse of what I'm looking like right now. So this is the outfit for today. Yep. Oh yeah, this is the Guardian. Also, also, the sun is not doing me justice right now. I do have on sunscreen though. But my eyes are super freaking puffy because I got bit by a spider. <sighs> so the backstory is I went to this restaurant and well, it's a restaurant I've never been to before. It's like a Mexican sort of like, I don't know. I, I guess it is a Mexican or Latino based restaurant, right? And they serve all these like, you know, traditional dishes with a little bit of American nice twist to it. So it's like a, a Tex-Mex, I guess, but without the barbecue, I don't know. So, cause usually Texas have, Tex-Mex have barbecue and Mexican food together. I could be wrong, correct me in the comments, whatever. So we went to this little Mex Mexican restaurant and the food was delicious. You know, everything was reasonably priced, you know, Mexican food hit. Okay, it hit different. Like, don't even play with them. So, I sat down at the little table or whatever on the um, patio they got. You know, it was giving views. It was giving vibes. And I looked and I felt something crawling on my arm. It was like a little orange spider. And I was just like, why is this thing crawling on my arm? So, of course, I'm trying to be calm because a waiter came up to us and was asking us what we wanted. So, I'm like, don't freak out. So, I smushed the spider. But I guess the damn thing had already bit my pinky. It was just weird because I had just sat down and was looking at the food on the menu and stuff. And the waiter was asking us what we wanted to drink. And just that fast, who am I to breath? I got bit by a fucking spider. And here's the bite. If y'all wanna see it, it was on my pinky. Like y'all see that? And it was bigger than that before. It's been like four days already, and I don't know what to do. I don't know if the camera too close or not. But yeah, it's really hot out here, and I'm walking to the store. But I mean, look at my eyes. Like this, this is not how I look. Like I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> So, guys, I'm over here by my community's, um, I, I guess it's called Lagoon, Lagoon, and there are so many geese. Like, I'm used to seeing geese. Let me get another angle, because your girl, your girl face card never declines. But anyway, the sun is burning the hell out of me. The sunscreen not working. Anyway, oh, let me be quiet. Let me go, shh, because there's a family of geese. I don't see any baby geese, but there's so many of them. You see them? Wait. <gasps> Look at that. Let me turn the camera around. I make more sense. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys, I am obsessed. Look at those little geese. Well, they actually big ass geese, but they look really small from back here, but there they are. That's how big they are. They like they have like a three foot wingspan. Like they're fucking big. So yeah, I don't want to fuck with those, but they cute to look at from far away. <laughs> like, oh my God, they coming over here. <gasps> oh, It was 
was some over there too, but I, yeah, they still over there. But yeah, how peaceful. All right, you guys, back to the original broadcast. All right, you guys, so I am in the middle of the woods. I'm still walking to the store though, but this is just, you know, the route. Ooh, a butterfly. Ooh, another butterfly. So, so far I've seen a black, an orange, and a neon yellow butterfly. And, yep, I love butterflies. So, yeah, this is the woods. Eee. Terrible angle, but y'all see it. All right, bye. It is so hot out here. Like, I'm starting to regret walking, but I don't have a car, so. I should have bought a sun visor. It wouldn't have been that bad if I bought a sun visor. Let's continue the walk, though. It is hot as devil's toenails. Like, I mean, why is it so ghetto out here? This is ghetto-ass heat. I don't like it. <sighs> All right, you guys. So, here I am. We still out here. It's a struggle. It really is a struggle. I need to get to the store. Like I, they need to come up with teleportation or something. Look behind me. You see this shit? But I am determined. <laughs> Y'all probably can hear the street next to me. I'm determined to get to this damn store. So yeah, the thickets it shall be. But uh, okay, I'm not in the woods. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But we, I live in the suburbs and there's a lot of damn trees. This is oh, this is where deer live. I almost tripped and fell, you guys. Oh, almost there though. So hope y'all can hear me, but currently I am at yeah. Okay, currently I am at the shopping plaza. And I'm almost to the store. I'm going to Ross. Hello. But yeah, I'm going to Ross. And I just want to see what they have in there because I've been wanting to go in there. So and hopefully they have the AC pumping because it's really hot out here. It's kind of like 2 or 3 or something like that. I left the house at like 1 something. So yeah, it took me a whole hour to walk here. But hopefully. It was worth the exercise that I needed anyway. So yeah. What's this? Hashtag not sponsored yet. Okay, so I'm about to walk in. But to walk in, but to walk in. And I don't know, like, my straight bottom. I just like the chains. For some reason, I'm like, fun the chains. But this is a size 7. And even though I know they're supposed to be like straight body or whatever, I don't know. They just look so big. Or is it just me? I don't know. But they are 20, no, $16.99. Now, I have found pants in here that was $2.99. They were from Calvary Klein. I think it was like a return or something. Because why else will a pair of Calvary Kleins be $2.99? So, I'm going to keep this on standby. I don't know. Like, okay, so the sides are supposed to be like exposed, which would be really cute and edgy. But it's like, I feel like I'll be able to wear this one time. Like, this is definitely for like a special event type of thing to me. Like, some people wear this, you know, on a regular, but I, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. What do you think? So, I've been really feeling the straight jean thing. 
Mm. What really stood out to me was the belt. I like the belt. The belt is so cute. It's so retro. But yeah, these are also straight leg. What is that? What is that? Anyway, it's a piece of dust. But anyway, yeah. This is my size seven. How do y'all feel about that? I don't even know what to wear, you guys. They got a lot of jeans, though. Definitely a lot of options here. That's the time looking. Head to toe. What this like who exactly this brand is i know it's song i have a few of these from here like a bunch of songs but these are super cute it's like something i would make out of my own you know cut jeans and distress them but they're cute i need those on right now because it's super hot and i got on pants and they got some cute shorts too oh they're a little too high for me i don't know where are we going in those but we got some cute options. It, it reminds me of the same stuff as Fashion Nova. Like, they all get the same drop ship shit and they put their logo on it, honestly. It's the same shit. But yeah, these are cute. Okay, so I found this large size Levi. And I love me some Levi's, especially from the Goodwill. But we're still at Ross. And this says Levi's. And it's a large though. I don't know how I feel about the fact that it's large, but I've been looking for like a, this type of design and material for like winter time. Cause it is almost fall, so. They even got these doctor costumes. I mean, I saw a few things, but it wasn't worth, you know, walking home with, you know. Um, I definitely will be back because you, okay, today's Wednesday. And usually on Wednesday, I've heard that, you know, that is when they get their shipment or whatever. But, um, I need some lip gloss. That mess. Wipe that lip gloss right the hell off. But anyway, yeah. I'm not seeing anything that's worth buying at this moment. So I'm trying to get random people in my video because people be like, oh, she's she was recording without consent and shit like that. So make sure the bitch never sit at me because you know what I mean? Like who be tripping? But anyway. So now I am just about to go to TJ Maxx and see what they have. Sorry for the angle, guys. Like I said, I'm trying to get people in my video. So I'm gonna put my mask on and go in there. Okay, so right now I am at Ross. Um, I always, like, I don't know why, but when, as soon as I come in, even my mom did the same thing for years. When we go to any Ross location, we always start with the bag first. So, Usually we don't get our bags from um, TJ Maxx. Um, we usually find our purses at Ross or we go to actually the actual store to get it. If, especially if you want something like designer or whatever. Like we go to Coach, get Coach. We don't find Coach at Ross or TJ Maxx anyway. So, um, I don't know. I don't need any more bags, I don't think. I don't see anything that really pops out. Like, I could literally just walk into a store and I'll find whatever I'm looking for right away. Sometimes, sometimes. But, um, right now I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm just trying to find something that really stands out. So, yeah. Okay, so they have a whole bunch of socks. Even they're like wintertime, fall time socks. I freaking love socks. 
And they're from Hallmark. I've never had anything from Hallmark. These are size four through 10 and they're $5.99 and you get three pairs. Wait a minute. Please tell me they're lying. $5, that's it. And then they have ones with Snoopy. Hashtag not sponsored by the way, but yeah. They have one with Snoopy on it and you get two pairs of this one, but this is even better than the first one. Oh, sorry. And this one's also $5.99. So you get three for $5.99 or two for $5.99 with Snoopy on it. I'll come back, y'all. I'm telling you, if I had my own apartment, one or two of these, these little pumpkins will get adopted. Like these are so freaking cute. This one's $15. And of course, I, I definitely put up these socks. I know the last clip showed me like awkwardly my hair, but I'm definitely getting these socks. They are super duper cute. But these pumpkins are so freaking cute. Especially this one says rotten. And these little suede pumpkins. And I heard they were selling these little leather ones at the Dollar Tree, but they're like 10 times smaller than that. But it's a vibe. I wonder what my mom like this wreath. This is so freaking cute. It's $30, though. So I don't know if that's the vibe that she's going for. Or her patio. I don't know. I'm just into the plaid look, though. This is so freaking cute. Oh, right. yeah, you guys. Looking around, trying to see if I see anything else. I'm not really looking at clothes right now because, other than these socks, of course, because I don't know. I don't need any more clothes. I need more shirts, but I know where to go get some shirts. So yeah, this is what they have. Oh, the dog section. I completely forgot. I have two dogs, so, and a cat. So I don't know if they'll appreciate any of these toys because they pretty much destroy everything they touch. So yeah, I really like this one though. This is so cute. How much does it cost? Let's see, oh, it's stuck. It went, this one I know is an impulse buy because it won't come off. Ah! Okay, so $6.99. Oh, that's annoying. I don't know that I like this though. They like things they could tear apart. Like it can't, it has to be a really durable toy. Like maybe this zombie hand. How much is this one? $7.99. That's cute too. I heard when we were, when we first got Cupcake, we got her like these little, let me see if they have it in here. It was like that hand, but it was shaped like a, a hairy crusty foot. It was like a big hairy foot that's made out of plush. And she literally just abandoned that thing. Like I thought she was gonna live that toy for life, but she did not, so. <laughs> okay, here goes this toy. Doesn't do anything, but it's cute. All right, next. All right, so I'm moving on to the, I got a lot of toys too, but, and furniture. It's a lot of furniture. I'm trying to move quickly because it's a little cloud in here and I want nobody like, you know, oh my God, on my camera. So right now I'm just walking into the clothes section, trying to see what they have. As you can see, I don't know. Oh, this is cute. How do I feel about this? Well, it's a little. I need more of like a red undertone type clothing. So I don't know. I'm gonna get the socks though. Oh, if I see something else, I'll let you know. All right, you guys, I got the socks. I didn't see anything else that I wanted. So right now I'm just, you know, trying to find somewhere else to shop. I mean, it's not, this book isn't all about shopping. Okay, before I go into this blistering ass sun, let me get my point across. This vlog is not all about shopping. That's just something I like to do. Um, <laughs> I'm still waiting till Friday like, to get paid. So it's not like I'm over here balling or anything. That's why I bought some six dollar socks and I'm just moving on with my life. Okay, there's no need to buy any extra clothes. I have enough at home. Like I said, I would like some more shirts, maybe a few more cardigans. I did just order another tripod because this one is super fucking heavy. I ordered 
some um, sweaters because I needed more sweaters because it's really cold at my job and I wanted every color. I didn't order every color. I ordered beige. Y'all see. I make a video about that too. If y'all want to see the clothes that I ordered off Amazon. It's really just a bunch of fucking Hanes sweaters or the Crew of the Loom sweaters. Whatever the fuck it's called. <sighs> but yeah. It is like when I left the house it was like I don't even know. Like I don't even know. I don't know what the temperature was. But all I know is that this is disrespectful. So <laughs> Yeah, I'll start recording again when I get to my next location. All right, you guys. So, I'm at this restaurant that just opened up. Um, or I'm about to go there. But if I don't like the vibes, because you know, like, you, you, know when you, you, you know when you go somewhere and you just don't feel invited. Yeah. We're going we gonna to see if those vibes is there. But definitely... I'm gonna check this place out. It's called BNP Sports Bar. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Hold on. So this is the restaurant. I am a little far away from it. I'm gonna put my mask back on just real quick so it can soak up some of the sweat off of my nose and get to the restaurant if I don't get ran over first. Who is driving on the wrong side? guys i am on my mom is gonna be so mad at me so i'm on the patio and they got you know all of this going on out here they got a couch and shit so yeah i'm trying to sit somewhere that's not too close to the sun but where no one else is because i hate other people so yeah i'm just gonna sit right here oh there's another part down here I don't want to go over there. So, yeah. And I'm just going to order something small. Ooh. I am so short. Ugh. Okay. I've got quite a few stairs already. <laughs> like, you go out here staring at me. I mean, I'm always wearing weird shit anyway, but still. Of course, I is it my nails and it's my hair color is it my hair color is my hair style is it my hair style and it's my glasses or am i or got long lashes on or got a colorful ass shirt on or some weird ass purse or shit like a duck or something so yeah there's no there's no in between with me but yeah oh they've got some lip gloss even though i'm gonna eat real quick stuff I don't know, y'all like this angle? This vlog is about doing things that make me happy and not depending on other people's presence. I mean, it's cool to be around people all the time, sometimes, but it's like, sometimes I just need a little space. So this is what this vlog is about. Taking myself out on a date and, you know, doing me. I'm gonna go back up. It won't do it, okay. Like a tan around where the mask was when I was walking. If you could see that, it's like extra light where the mask was. But yeah. What about the play Doja Cat? I love Doja Cat. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm waiting on the waitress. Um, I don't like doing a lot of talking. So basically, I'm waiting on the waitress and. of why I did this today so um I'm 21 you know I'm an adult can't believe I say that I mean I've been an adult for the past three years basically when you turn 18 you're an adult but whatever I feel like 18 and 19 is still teen I mean it's teen is still children you're still a child I'm gonna fuck but after 20 that's when things really change but 21 just hits differently you know 
not because I'm old enough to drink or whatever, but it's just more. You know, it's a lot that happens between being 18 and 21. A lot happens between those years. So, yeah. But the reason why I, you know, stuck out of my comfort zone and decided to, like, you know, just randomly go to the store and randomly just go out to eat and treat myself is because, like I was saying in my previous video, um, my manifestation video, like, I work hard. Like, I deserve to, you know, get out the house, get some fresh air, you know, just really find out who I am and just, you know, vibe back in. You know, there's nothing wrong with being by yourself, you know. Not saying I would be by myself forever, but you know, I just, this is my freedom day, my clear my mind day, my expand my palette day. I don't know. I'm just enjoying my day off, really. Like, even just sitting here right now talking to the camera, like, this is enough entertainment for me right now because I don't know, like, I always have a lot to say. But, I mean, I just tell my best friend. But maybe y'all can be my best friend. Y'all can be my new best friend, my virtual best friend. I don't know, it's a little awkward. Like, I'm not used to being out in public. And people are like, who is she talking to? I'm talking to myself. Because I'm a psychopath. Things about it. But, yeah. I'm still waiting on a waitress to come out here and give me a menu. Because I'm still hungry. Like, I haven't eaten anything. So... So I've just started until they remember I'm out here. So I've been out here for a good 10 minutes and I'm glad it's cool out here and everything because maybe I just need to sit down where nobody has come outside and take my order yet. And honestly, I'm not the type of person to be rushing, you know, people. I mean, it's not crowded there at all, but maybe they just forgot that I was out there. I don't know, but child, I'm just hungry, thirsty, and just. I really would like to go home right now because everything else is just far away. Like, it's really, like, everything is just spread out. Like, you have to have a car to live out here. It's really fucking hot and it takes forever to get from one place to another by foot. So, but right now, it was like three um old heads talking to me. They were asking if I had a bike because it's somebody's um motorcycle over there which i really would like a motorcycle which, uh, that shit isn't expensive as a car but um yeah they were asking me if i had a food blog and i was like no like maybe i mean like i said i i in my last video my last vlog or whatever you want to call it i did want to start a food video blog thing and i could have probably started just now they would have took my order but <laughs> um understand the obsession they don't understand what the, do you see this it's fluffy like i know my feet are going to be so cold and then it's snoopy like it matches like okay the reason why i really got those snoopies is because i have bed sheets with snoopy on them like you don't understand the obsession like, i'm not obsessed with snoopy i'm obsessed with the drawing style they use for peanuts so it's such a cute drawing style so yeah time shit when it starts getting colder because it's not even cold yet and i live in georgia specifically savina georgia the southeast like off the coast so it doesn't get cold until damn near january like it don't really get cold like that here so it probably be a while before i wear those socks but at least i'll have them for a couple of years because all my fluffy socks i've had for years so yeah still waiting on my order though or waiting on my menu. I haven't even looked at the menu yet. Like, I don't even know what the menu is, but I just came here. Great first impression. <laughs> nah, because I really think it's crazy how nobody talks about monkey talks anymore. Like, I just thought about that shit. Like, nobody says shit about it. Like, it was, it was like popping all over the internet for like the past, for like two weeks. 
tops. And then after that, like nobody said shit about it. <laughs> it was like nobody give a fuck no more. He said, "Oh, well, shit, add to the list." You feel me? Like everybody give a fuck. <laughs> and he was still out here thugging. Like you know, people give a fuck. It's just crazy. But um, and then I try to stay off Instagram because it's so, it's so congested on there. Like I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Instagram is so fucking ghetto. I'm not even gonna get myself into Twitter because I know Twitter is even fucking worse. But oh my gosh! So first of all, rest in peace, PMP Rock. Like I did not expect that. Like, can we just get into that? That is fucking so unexpected. Like, why would you kill him? Like, over jury? Like, come on. I'm trying to stay off Instagram, child. I'm just trying to stay off Instagram. I can't do Instagram. It's too sad on there. Like, I can't. It's worse than Facebook at this point. Should it? Damn, there is Facebook. It's so damn. People getting killed off Instagram. People getting into relationships and out of relationships on Instagram. Instagram is doing too much, okay? We need, to, we need to ban the damn internet. That's what we need to do. We need to make it to where you can just only use the internet for important shit like making an appointment, getting a ride, or, you know, shit like that. Educational purposes, Googling research shit, you know? But as far as, like, all this other shit, all this drama and people living these fake-ass lifestyles and shit, they need to ban that part. A lot of people gonna be mad and, like, you know, upset about it, but shit, they'll get over it just like everything else. Because the internet is really, like, making the world even worse. Like, the world's already shitty as fuck, but now the internet is just amplifying it, you feel me? So... But yeah, that waitress definitely forgot that I was out here hold on but yeah that waitress definitely forgot that i was out there so i just left like i went to sit there for a fucking hour and i wasn't about to go in there because i don't like you know talking to like not saying talk like okay let me, let me get my thoughts together i don't like coming off as bitchy to people who you know is waiting on me or you know providing a service to me like if i'm at a restaurant i like to be as nice and sweet to the um people as possible because you you know they they got control over what i'm putting in my body like i'm not gonna sit there and be talking shit to somebody who could easily spit in my food and stuff in my my burger money you feel me so i was and i know that if i'd have been like you know you know you know what's going on I'm waiting on my or, or waiting outside or whatever I, I know it probably would have came off as attitude because at that point like I said I've been waiting there for 30 minutes and still had even received the menu so I was like you know let me just leave because I don't want anything I don't want to feel uncomfortable and I don't want to come off as uncomfortable or pushy or anything I don't know like I just try to avoid conflict at all costs because people is really like angry ready to rob and kill and go crazy more than ever it's a really sensitive and um no remorse type climate out here uh, excuse me out here and i don't feel like getting involved in nothing or being a victim of nothing so that's why i just removed myself but it is a whole lot of hotels around here so I might see if I can give me some, well, I should do this morning. Cause right now they probably just got like them little crusty ass cookies in the lobby. That's if these hotels do that. But um, if y'all wanna see a video of me going to different hotels and getting breakfast in the morning, make sure you that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and leave a unicorn in the comments if you want me to go to all the well, not all of them, because there's a lot of hotels around here, but most of the hotels in my area and see if I could get some free breakfast. But the vlog isn't over yet. I'm gonna find something to do to make up for the fact that I just wasted time on my day off to go to that restaurant and they did not serve me or it took forever. I'm not gonna make it seem like a, you know, that type of thing. Like that. I'm sure they meant well. But like I said, it wasn't crowded and I was waiting on y'all to bring me a menu at least and nobody came out there for 30 minutes, so. <laughs> Alright you guys, so I'm at Del Sur. There's also Nan over here and the Wild Ginger, but I don't know this restaurant. I had this already 
um, they'll serve the place I was talking about. It's a taqueria and cantina, and yeah. So it's giving Mexican vibes, you know? I don't know if they open it. They don't look very much open. Is they open? <sighs> oh, I'm so sweaty. Don't, 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 I look you didn't see that. Thank you, open.